EA Interviews, Episode 31. Inspiration, Transformation, Success Stories, and the Imperfect Action Round. Seven days a week. Join Mario Ficini for today's Expert Authority Effect interview. Welcome back, Expert Authority World. We're here with Q&A 4, and we have more great questions from you this week. This week's questions are, what about my podcast show avatar? What does it mean to my show, and how do I create one? Where do I get an ISBN for business book publishing? How do I get great lighting for live streaming video? Training courses. How many modules? Congratulations. You got started with your cell phone, and I welcome you to the live so, streaming game. Now you're coming through the questions. camera and going live regularly. But I caution when you're you, doing your podcast, don't get stuck you in start think about your This is why I stepped up my game with Wirecast Pro and advise you to do too. Is get your 30 day free trial at eainterviews.com forward slash Wirecast. What are they doing? Dive deep into their background. When you're doing a video show, when you're doing anything, you want to think about your perfect listener, your perfect watcher. For the podcast, it's a listener. Who are they? Where are they at? Are they listening to you when they're jogging? Are they listening to you when they're in the car? Are they listening to you when they're at home? Maybe they're cooking. Maybe they're cleaning. Whatever the case may be, take some time and dial this in. I know you might want to say, how do I get on Apple? How do I get on Google? How do I get on Stitcher? That's all well and good. But know your avatar is the best thing you can do to start. Where do I get an ISBN? Great question. If you're going to publish a business book, you need an ISBN. Because like I said in last week's Q&A, you're probably going to want to sell it. The place you get them is Bowker, B O W. K-E-R for the United States. If you're not in the United States, I would encourage you to check them out. I know they do some things international. I don't know all the technical difficulties or all the technical differences, I should say, but you need to get an ISBN from a accredited source, and Bowker is for the United States. If you're looking to publish your book soon, you also have options from Amazon as well, as well as IWD Now Marketing and Publishing. A lot of my clients get them through us because we get them in bulk from Bowker, just like Amazon. Because they charge more, we charge less, it's the same ISBN. So no matter where you're getting it, it all comes from Bowker. B-O-W-K-E-R. How do I get great lighting? A lot of people have asked, how do I light the show here? And I remember asking my teacher, how do you light the dark? And I remember him saying, open the iris. If you want good lighting, you need to have an abundance of light. I'm not going to get into all the technical things, probably save that for later, but a good starting place is three-point lighting. You have one light over here, one light over here, one light over there. You want it balanced. You don't want a direct light. Um, depending on the setup and the background you have, you may consider a hair light. I personally don't love it because it makes my hair look brown. It's a dark brown. I just, I don't love it. Plus, it's one more thing to worry about hitting your head on. So I use diffused soft boxes, and you want to wrap it around you depending on what you're doing. How many modules? This goes into the training. When you're creating a training course for your product in conjunction with your book, maybe in tandem with your show, whatever the case is, how many modules is a very common question I get. The answer is as few as you need, but as many as it takes. You don't want to say, I'm going to create 36 different training modules just arbitrarily, arbitrary for the sake of creating 36 training modules. If you need 36 training modules, then all, by all means, use them. After doing this for nearly a decade now, I would probably say you don't. You probably could get by with 7 to 10 and then have different modules within there. There's a big difference. You don't need 36 made ones, and I'd urge you against it. 
However, you very well could have 20 to 30, maybe 36 sub-modules. Take as least amount of time as possible. So many people think, I'm going to have the best training on the face of ever. And they want to include 100 hours of training. That's all well and good. I'm glad you have the heart. I'm glad you want to serve at the highest level. But remember, it's like a movie. People actually need to get through it. You could probably make the best movie on the face of ever. But if it's six and a half hours long... No one's going to watch it in one sitting. You have to take that into consideration. So I've not only taken mine, rearranged it, remade the puzzle, and shrunk it down. I've also re-recorded certain videos and sped up how quick I'm talking. For example, the ISBN is one of my modules. Um, getting set up on different softwares, getting set up with different printers. I've actually re-recorded videos and timed myself to make them faster because I have a goal of making all my videos five minutes or less. Because if you have 10 of them you can get through, if you have 10 of them you need to get through, I want you to do it in under an hour, not three hours. Because the people I help are affluent, uh, upwardly mobile, busy, already successful, have families, you know, they got stuff going on. They don't have all the time in the world. They just want to make a bigger impact in the marketplace. So I respect that time and I personally keep everything shorter. Do I need a logo to start? This is a tricky thing. Personally, no. However, some people think they do and they can't get past it. So if that's the case, wrap your head around it and realize you don't. However, if you're just stuck on it and you really can't move, then get it done so you can move forward. But I really encourage you to realize you don't need a logo to get started. If you're doing a book, you definitely don't need a logo. If you're doing a business, you definitely don't need a logo to get started. If you're doing a business, you need clients and sales. If you're doing a book, you need a title and a subtitle and the table of contents, and start writing it. If you're doing live streaming, you definitely don't need a title. If, however, you're doing a podcast, it's about the only thing I would say, you don't need a title, you don't need a logo to start, but you will need a logo to launch. The business, the live streaming, uh, what else did I mention? In the training... You don't need logos to launch those. It may be a personal thing. However, on iTunes and Google Podcast, you do need a logo for your show. So I appreciate the great questions. I look forward to seeing you on the next one next week. Send them into Expert Authority World, expertauthorityworld.com. There's a Facebook community. I look forward to seeing you in there. And thanks for, again for the great questions. I hope this helped. You're already successful. You've worked hard to get where you are. We both know it wasn't overnight and hasn't always been easy. No doubt you're the expert on your subject matter. But do your prospects in your marketplace think of you first as their go-to trusted advisor all the time? ExpertAuthorityChecklist.com is 100% free and reveals the 21 steps to determine if your prospects view you as the expert and authority of your marketplace or if it's just all in your mind. Important required steps like do you have a process in place for prospects to self-identify if they qualify for your time and expertise or not? Does your current offer have the seven components of an irresistible offer required to make it a no-brainer for your prospects? Do you have a real-life paperback book showcasing you as the subject matter expert you can actually hand someone? Get your free checklist now at expertauthoritychecklist.com. Once again, expertauthoritychecklist to make sure you have the 21 steps covered. It better not be more, but don't leave those one or two things you may have missing go any longer. Visit expertauthoritychecklist.com and make sure you're being seen as the expert in authority today. Once again, that's expertauthoritychecklist.com. 
Get your copy now. Congratulations. You got started with your cell phone, and I welcome you to the live streaming game. Now you're comfortable on camera and going live regularly, but I caution you, don't get stuck in startup mode. This is why I stepped up my game with Wirecast Pro and advise you do too. Get your 30-day free trial at eainterviews.com forward slash Wirecast. Thanks for listening to the episode. I hope you got a lot of value out of it. Let's continue the conversation over in the community, expertauthorityworld.com. We can have discussions, talk about the episodes, and I'd love to get your thoughts on it. Once again, expertauthorityworld.com.